with the national championship team by introducing yoga. And you know our own Aaron Nolan had to check it out. Wednesday is the official start to basketball season as the U of A men's hoops team hosted their annual media days. It was also the last time the team got together to do the downward hog. Okay, I think, I don't, I, okay, this hurts. So yoga is a, can be a calming effect for any athlete. Serenity and basketball. Maybe two things you wouldn't normally associate together. And lean forward, that's it. Good. But Mike Anderson is bringing more than just 40 minutes of hell back to the basketball palace of mid-America. Now straighten your legs. He's also bringing 30 minutes of yoga. No matter where you go, when you're traveling, you can do this. My well, first thing I thought was, you know, it was kind of weird, you know. The first time I actually did yoga, mm -hmm. it was, it was kind of strange to me. But the meditation is actually catching on. Man, if you do it right, it's, it's a great workout. It's, it's not a, a workout for a weenie. Because they work out and they're just doing really short movements on the court. They get really tight, and yoga helps decrease injury, help increase their flexibility, but it also helps their concentration. The 2011 Razorbacks aren't the only hardcore hogs to strike a pose in relaxation. The 1994 national champs did the very same thing. Coach Richardson was all about it. Uh, it helped me a lot. Uh, it helped our, our guys a lot. We enjoy it, you know, especially when we could do that as opposed to doing a lot of running. It made me feel like, well, if they did it, and this is what they were doing to win, then I feel like we, we can do the same thing. It could be the X factor. Of course, with every yoga session, you got to end with your mantra. Um, but who am I kidding? This is a unique team, and they've got a unique way to end their class. When I told them that the whole school was doing this, and that the president was involved,